Just doing a quick mic check. Hello, hello. Population one viewers, players, streamers, thanks for joining. Getting ready to do the tipsy tricksy takes over. I appreciate you just hanging out while I'm uh, getting all my screen stuff ready. Checking out who I'm going to be doing my interview for today. I'm waiting for you all to pop in and say hello. What is up, Sly? I see you there. I'm going to try and do a good job of tracking your guys' chat today. And if you're in chat lurking, if you could just give me a quick hello, I can let our interviewee know that uh, you're here watching. If you have questions during the stream, pop them in there. Doing dishes, sly, yuck. <laughs> nah, I did some dishes right before this, actually. <laughs> if you have some questions during the uh, stream and you guys want to pop them in the chat, let me know. All right, I think we're going to get started as you guys are growing the uh, stream a little bit, one person at a time. And today we've got a great interview in place. You guys can see the name on the screen. Beautiful day in population one, as always, until they add rain and snow. I think uh, typically this is what it's going to look like. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Whereas some of you guys are in a nice, beautiful, sunny day today here, it is gloomy and cold and windy outside and the leaves are changing so i'm happy to be here with you thank you for joining me and the tipsy trixie takes over um uh today we've got a special interviewee you guys know her um or maybe you don't know her and you need to know about her so make sure you guys uh do that thing you know you do very well a uh, couple of note things on uh today special today they released the new mode uh coming out uh, sandbox. I hope you guys are all excited for that. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you guys are checking out the information that's been announced. Uh, the playtesting was fun. It was so much fun. Um, and also the new headset came out. And if any of you have very large pockets, you could probably get one for yourself for the low price of $1,500. <laughs> Anyways, Let's get to the most important part of the day. We are going to be interviewing Balpo. Hey, Balpo. Hey. Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. How was your day? Oh, my day was like, you know, I'm here oh, in yeah. population one. Today is great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with wonderful. that. Uh-huh. Well, um, I first just want to say thank you for joining me. We had a lot of people request you, and so uh, lining you up has been uh, like an excitement for me and several other uh, viewers that are going to be popping in and out and saying hello as well. So thank you. Oh, I'm excited. No, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, um, I've got, I'm going to turn around here. There we go. I've got several questions lined up. I've got lots of people that are going to be popping in saying hello. So I'm going to be trying to interact with the uh, chat and as well as asking questions. And then we'll play a game and see if I can guess what your favorite weapons are. We'll see. Ooh, excited. I know. All right. But first and foremost, the most important piece is, am I off the stairs? Do I look like I'm sitting? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Tell <laughs> us where we can find you online. Where we can find me online? Um, yep. I stream on Twitch pretty regularly. Uh, every Monday, usually, except for this past Monday, because I moved. And then I use Instagram to funnel people to my Twitch. And then I use TikTok to funnel people into my Twitch. But my TikTok is terrible. I stopped doing them. <laughs> um, I'm embarrassed. My dad found them. Oh. Um, so, yeah, my dad and my 14-year-old little brother found them, and he called me, and he's like, Belpo, because that's my real name. Uh -huh. um, he goes, Belpo, um, why, are you, why are you talking like that? I'm like, just, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just but, what I'm yeah. doing. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, are you okay with starting the questions now? We'll just dive yeah, right of in. Course. Cool. Okay, of so. Course. Pretty simple ones first off, and then we'll get into ones that are a little more sticky. 
Um, first, now, where are you located? Oh, I just moved to Charleston in South Carolina. Beautiful. Where Where were you before just that? This weekend. I was in Raleigh, but I grew up mostly in uh, in Boston. So the South is super, super different for me. I'm learning okay. a lot. I have no friends uh -huh. here. I need more friends. <laughs> You have lots of friends. We're all here. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm trying to like, there's one lady actually that lives in South Carolina and I have to scout her and I have to figure out who it is and uh, she's going to be my first friend, guaranteed. And, and does she play VR? <laughs> she's in Pop 1. She's in Pop yeah, 1. I think she's in THC. Someone was telling me someone in THC lives in, in Charleston. Awesome. I to find out who that is. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. And then you guys can like hang out together and, and, I don't know, play in the same room and see yeah. if you can smack controllers. <laughs> Bring her over for a stream. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, do you mind sharing with us what you do for a living? Yeah, I work for a luxury travel company. Mm -hmm. I do products for them. So um, how the company functions is we each specialize in our own region around the world. So mm -hmm. I have like Southeast Asia that I specialize product for. And okay. it's basically about developing like new luxury, helping uh, find new luxury hotels so we can offer our clients more ethical experiences, especially with what's going on with like animal welfare. And oh. making sure like the way that people see the world is like in an ethical way towards animals, towards people, um, and like really opening people's eyes to like what a good way to see the world and travel ethically is. Because I think a lot of people for a really long time, they were going to schools of kids mm -hmm. um, and, and like volunteering for a day or like disrupting the classroom. And like what people don't think is imagine if here in the U.S., um, we were just like, people were just coming into our kids' schools every single day right. for like hours on end. We to would learn about so culture angry. somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> exactly. So like we, the company that I work for, it's all about like luxury, but responsible tourism. So okay. I really, I feel proud working there. I like it. That sounds awesome, actually. So, and, and there's uh, <laughs> people that work in your company that specialize in different areas around the globe? Yep, so our, we have three offices around the world, and I think it's about like a 1,000 employees overall. Mm -hmm. And so we each have our own branch. We have like a sales team and a product team, but each, each uh, section of the company does a different part of the world. Um, I applied, when I applied like five years ago, I wanted Europe, mm -hmm. um, but I've loved, I've loved Southeast Asia. It's incredible. Incre Do you anyone, get to travel? Wants to go, if you want to go, you can yeah. call me. Yeah, they pay you to travel for a month oh, hey. every year. That is awesome. That is super cool. Okay, if you ever get Europe yeah. um, and you have somebody that needs to go with you, um, just saying. <laughs> I will take you. <laughs> have All you right. been to Europe? I have not. It's on my bucket list. I totally <gasps> want to do, do, do the cheesy there. Euro tour. Yeah, I, I totally want to yeah. do the, the dorky ass, you know, Euro tour of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> All oh, of the different amazing. statues and all the different buildings and all of the different formations and stuff like that. I'd be down. If you need help one day, I can help give you advice there too. Excellent. So okay. Feel free. Well, I just want to let you know who is in chat. And if you're in chat and you haven't said hello, now is the time to do it. Alberto, thanks for liking this stream. PlayStation 2. PlayStation Dead. is watching. Trixie's talking it over. I'm, talk I'm taking it over. Yep. Okay. PlayStation says hello. Sly hello, Fisting says, says hello. Uh, Our Lady likes to say hello. She <gasps> said, please, please, please tell her hey, and I love her. I love you, lady. I miss you. I think it's 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> spicy Wiener so says hello. <laughs> oh, Spicy. Oh, you know what's funny is I did a training tournament like a while back, mm -hmm. and Spicy was one of my intermediate guys that I got for my training tournament, and it was we, oh, okay. I think we we got second place, and we only got second by like point three points. We would have gotten first. Nice. All right, it. Jeezy is here, so he is also watching, hanging out, and I'm sure throughout the stream we're gonna have several others. So just uh, you guys in chat, if you can let them know that uh, they need to let me know that you guys are all here, and I'll let Valpo know. Um, and she is not live streaming right now, so uh, you gotta hang out here if you want to see the show. Um, <laughs> let's talk about when did you start playing Pop One? 
Ooh, I I started the January after it was released. So like when everyone had their Red Roy's and their Incognito Hatties mm-hmm. and everyone was showing off their Rainbow Annas and I was like, God, I'm never gonna ever get there. <laughs> um, and I got my ass whooped like for <laughs> for months. And I was playing with my little brother and my father at the time. And we just like couldn't get a win. So like I, I had to join a Discord and beg someone to get me my first win, and they eventually did. <laughs> and do you um, remember who that was? <laughs> I do. It was it was Magic Cow, and he doesn't play anymore, but he's still in my Discord now. Nice. So we chat like all the time. He just got engaged. So yay. Yeah. Okay. Love him. Love him. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, let's talk about your gamer tag. You had mentioned that it is your name, if it is how you spell your name, or how did you get Valpo? Is there like a family thing around it? Or tell me a little bit about it. Oh, yeah, no, uh, that was a joke. It's not my real name. I don't <laughs> say it on, on stream. <laughs> um, the, the general story, and it's not a very good one. Um, in my early 20s, I joined dating apps. And I was like, crap, I don't want any of my coworkers or my friends, like, searching any of the usernames I usually have. Because you have to use usernames at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how old I am. And <laughs> so I was like, I need something that cannot be traced back to me. It means absolutely nothing. And I was learning French at the time. And I was like, what's the French word for nothing? Uh, and it's pot de ball is the French word for nothing. Uh-huh. And so I flipped it, because um, in slang, it's like pig Latin. For French, they flip uh-huh. words. Right. So instead of pot de ball, it was bal- balpo. So essentially, so, you are nothing. <laughs> it means nothing. It means Sounds horrible. absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's so uninteresting. I'm so sorry I chose it. I didn't expect people to ever ask me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That is okay. Like we all like the name and I think all your viewers like the name. So you created something that's very unique and it's, it's like, it's a very, it does, it sounds French. It's just like yeah, nice yeah. and flowy. And I and met, I met people in real life from Pop One. I think I've met a total of 10 mm-hmm. and nine out of the 10 of those people are like, I can only call you Val. I like cannot call you your real name, even though they know it. Uh-huh. I'm like, all right, my identity. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <That's> cool. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what is up? Yeah. Devil's Reaper is now here, my other half, saying Hi, hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk about your current level. Where are you at? Oh, my God, I don't know. I haven't really? gotten the, um, <laughs> yeah, what is it? 61, maybe? I have okay. the first, yeah, I don't have, sorry. You have, have gold, gold PJ. Yeah, I have gold PJ and have gold Hattie, and then that's where I ended. So you're on level 61, going for 62. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Yeah, and I'm very close. Okay. (laughs) Are you currently in a clan? I am. I'm in VRS. Okay. And I'm, like, a very proud VRS person. We just recruited two of my besties last night. Um, I had no I clue you were in VRS. <laughs> huh? I had no clue you were in that clan. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in VRS. Um, so we just recruited, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. It might piss people off, but I'm going to say it anyways. We just recruited old Greg and Suki-chan uh-huh. um, for VRS. And like my day has been made. That happened today. Aww. That joined us. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Pumped. And then, uh, do you play in tournaments? I I know that you do, but uh, let's talk a little bit about <laughs> tournaments. <laughs> um, I play in mixed doubles now. Mm-hmm. Um, I did arc as a sub. I didn't really enjoy arc. Uh, I think that there's like, and you you probably know about like mixed doubles. It's mm-hmm. automatic scoring. It's really nice. In arc, sometimes it would take like four hours to get through like a game, like a league match. For the day. Yeah. And it was just it was just like too time consuming, so I hated doing it. Um but I do have like some really good clips from like my first tournament when mm-hmm. like comp was just starting to come out and people would just like dive on top of you with no guns. And I, <laughs> I did get a couple of wins in That's my first awesome. tournament because of that. Okay. So, that was good. <laughs> 
Well, um, you brought me to your favorite part of the map. You brought me into Kingdom. You're dressed nicely for it, by the way. Nice choice. Thank you. Um, <laughs> What would be something on the map that you would like to see go away? Maybe something replaced oh. with another idea. I'm going to pull up the oh, map that's here such a next great to you. Question. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always, I've always thought that construction needs to be something else. Like mm -hmm. I, like it's construction for a reason, mm -hmm. and I've been waiting every single time for them to turn construction to like this really beautiful, magnificent little area. Yep. So kind of like that's build, kind of disappointing to me. Finish building the construction. Yeah, finish building the construction. Yeah, every time they're like, we're going to have an update. There's going to be a new part of the map. I'm like, this time it's going to be construction, right? Because like the construction's finally going to be over. And mm -hmm. it's never construction. There's been some really great suggestions of making Dead River be kind of where boats come in. Yeah. And maybe like construction. <gasps> oh, yeah, swim. and construction being like where the boats come up into the little loading dock. Like a mm -hmm. dock? I mm -hmm. love that. Yeah. Yeah, I love that so, idea. I would love um, to see water in this map in general. That'd be so cool. Yeah, and I think they're just uh, maybe hesitant with the whole water because of the swimming factor, but uh, maybe yeah. if it was just floor level where you could hear the splash, splash, splash. <laughs> Have you played games where there is swimming, by the way, in VR? I mean, not in VR. No, I haven't. Have mm -hmm. you? Yeah, there's a game called Hubris, and, like, you actually have to push to swim, oh. and it is janky. So I know why they don't do it. Uh -huh. But even, like, with uh, VR chat, um, and have you've been in VR chat, right? Yep, yep. With VR chat, like you said, you just, like, kind of walk into the water, and it's, like, barely any materials you have to use to build that. And yeah. I feel like that, that would be so nice. You just, like, walk Well, and they fine. could even do the water, like, in uh, Horizons, where it's just there, and you can mm -hmm. still walk straight into it. Like, yeah. yeah. Pretty much like that. Just make it like I agree. that. <laughs> I agree. And, uh, you don't need to make, make it, it where maybe the boats, you can actually hide under them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would be One, cool. Another good spot for me to find 13-year-olds hiding to scare me. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to know if you want to play the weapons loadout game with me. It's about that time. You think now is a good time? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have open chat so I can hear you the whole time. Okay. And uh, I'm going to pick what I think you play with as your favorite. Like if you could run around the map and pick everything you wanted in a perfect loadout. This is what okay. you pick, and I'm gonna guess. Am I picking two? You're picking Am I grabbing whatever? things or no? Yep. You're okay. gonna pick everything that you want, and I'm gonna oh, try and crap. match it. Oh then... lord! <laughs> you can go wherever <laughs> you want on the map. Give I'm gonna me go to ten apartments. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It doesn't have to, to be. Metro. It doesn't have to be the right color gun. Um, just okay. the right gun. Uh, let's see here. This has changed, by the way. I was a diehard Magnum person. I, I used know to this. Fight yep. over the Magnum with everyone. <laughs> no one would give it to me. Slide okay. fisting. I'm still, I'm still in my Set. What's up, Zenith slide? has swimming and it works. Oh, Zenith has swimming and he says it works. Interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot this, Zenith has swimming. I believe is a yes. Okay. Shopping around. I think I found uh, okay, me... one of your favorites. We'll see here. Let me go no. to gun store. Okay. Uh, um, I found here. none of my favorite guns, but that's okay. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> oh, my oh this is one that I've seen her carry on a regular basis. So I'm just not going to grab it in this loadout. I don't think it's one of her favorites. I just know she's comfortable <gasps> with it. Let's see here. Oh shit. Oh, I thought. No, that's not one. Give me. Hold on. Hold oh, on. Hold here's on. the one I wanted to find. What the heck? Oh my god, I'm gonna play with you because <laughs> if you're finding the my phone app and I'm I mean, not, I, I, have I one. am in apartment, so. <laughs> Uh, one of them is, should be like everywhere and I cannot find it. Oh, I think I'm on it right now, just so you know. <laughs> um, oh first floor God. of apartments, if you want to come take a look. I won't I won't peek. Okay, see okay. Here. I might have to. Oh, here's one I was looking for right here. 
This is one that I believe you replaced um, recently. We'll see if I'm right, I don't know. I just have to get rid of the thing here in my hand because I do not see you carrying this around. I'll be very sad. <laughs> oh wait, here's the second. Everyone makes fun of me for carrying three guns, so that's uh -huh. why it's taking me so long. That's all right, I've got three guns, so at least I'm doing well there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I shouldn't have said that. But yeah, everyone, I have people that just randomly DM me, Trixie, and uh -huh. they're like, I watched your stream and I saw you carry three guns. I don't like that you do that. Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. I mean, like, Shut you your should face. Only carry that's two. my choice and blah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I like, mean, all right, it depends that's great. on your game style. Enjoy your two. Yeah. You've yeah. got long range, wrong. mid range, short range. <laughs> I see you flying okay. near I me. Need... So. <laughs> You're right. I need to go to apartments just to be okay. sure. Cause okay. I'm going to go the opposite direction. I haven't direction found my, my absolute fave. I'm not gonna lie, I saw you flying at me, and I did have a little bit of like a heart flutter that I was gonna in a shoot game me? for a moment. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, I found it, I found okay. it. Okay, was it maybe on the bottom first level of a permit? <laughs> sort of. Do I need to fill? I don't need to fill the entire thing. Like, if you if do. Like, you do. Example, so, like a banana slot. I don't need to have yep. two. Oh, I do need to have Oh, you don't need to have two. No, you don't have to have like three of three Sliders. shoes, okay. two of two bananas. Oh, that kind okay. Of no, no. I all at least right. have three then I'm, guns. I'm done. Sly Close, Fisting also yep, carries three guns for the very purpose of what I said. Close, mid, and long range. Yeah, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. that's, and, I, and I love it, you know? Because sometimes, like, sometimes you want the mid-range gun and not just a short distance and long distance and it's just like fun have that mid region it's like mm -hmm. one of my yeah anyway everyone teases me i i get comments they're like why don't you use this <laughs> in your loadout why don't you use that spot for heels more yeah. heels and like poo, -poo on them <laughs> yeah all right you know are you a, a girl ready oh, to yeah. roll or are you still looking oh i'm i'm ready where where are you Let's go, um, are you still at apartments? Um, no, I am. Oh, I see you. I'm Look right over here. Oh, yay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Here's a girl in this game Put that plays with away. zero heel, heels in her backpack. Uh-huh. And only two guns, and then the rest are uh, regular grenades. Oh, And I've always okay. wanted to try that. Well, <laughs> let's see here. The first thing that I grabbed that I wanted to replace with extra heals was the cyber blade. I didn't feel like you carried that and liked it in your most favorite uh, loadout. I I'm not sure, but uh, I think uh, I should probably should have dropped it and picked something else. But do you have a cyber blade? <laughs> no, because I've broken my <laughs> hand and I won't pick it up because I broke my hand. <laughs> so it's like one of the few I don't pick up. <laughs> So I, I was going to go with double heels, just so you know, I was going to go with extra bananas for that slot, but mm -hmm. I went ahead and I kept mm -hmm. the cyber blade because I saw you flying over my head with the cyber blade in your hand, and I was like, oh, I guess oh, I won't right. replace it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying I, to cheat, okay? <laughs> oh All right. God, that's funny. The next thing I grabbed was the bananas, not yep, soda cans. Yeah, two bananas. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would have grabbed probably double um, bananas. I would have done double bananas, bananas, or I would have done bananas and sodas, um, double the heels, um, just because I think that. If that's I didn't what fly over you, I tricked you. Uh huh. I totally did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing I picked was shakers, not uh, shield soda cans. Yay! Okay. Shakers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so uh, everyone can clip me shaking it. Uh -huh, I have that's like right. at least one or two every other week of me shaking a shield shake in my clips. Yep. I nice. love it. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Nice clips. <laughs> Velpo again, <laughs> shaking the shakers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, ass I'm assuming people are just like need help with their shaker technique and so they just save it for later to mm -hmm. learn. Uh -huh. That's a good, yeah. <laughs> good, yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one. Let's get to guns. Your three guns. Um, the first one is uh -huh. pretty easy. 
you comment about mm -hmm. this every time you don't have My it baby. you're on stream asking for it so yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a pretty easy one for me i'm just sad i didn't find you a gold sorry about that <laughs> uh the next one i picked i wasn't sure but you were you're very savvy with it so i picked up a p90 um, least favorite gun really Okay. Hate the P90. Fuck. I pick it up when I have to pick it up. I'm not awful with it. You're not. Like, yeah. If you if you play with me, I will complain about it the whole match. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you know, when I saw you playing with it, I was like, she's really good with that. Strange oh. because, uh, yeah. <gasps> Thank I'm, you. Yeah. So maybe you should pick it up more so often. Nice. <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe I should. Now the other gun that I saw you using a lot was the Magnum, but. Uh -huh. I haven't seen I it in know. your yeah. I haven't seen it in your most recent streams, and I wasn't sure if mm -hmm. you liked it since the update. So I went against it, and instead I chose the op. Yeah, I'm an I'm an op main. I'm always an op main, even when they were magnum. Mm -hmm. This is the these two guns have never changed since the beginning of me playing. Yep, I'm okay with the op now. I used to suck at it. I cannot even handle the AKM. It works no good for me. I might as well have a PX4. <laughs> and I also cannot handle the P90. So what was your last um, mm. what was your last couple of items? Share. My last one, my last oh, gun I, is a DT. I was gonna go with the M10. I knew you liked shotguns. Oh. Okay, okay. I I used to be matadors because they were like a brick wall. And then mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I feel like shit killing people with matadors now because um, it just feels like they melt in front of me and I'm just a noob. Mm -hmm. um, so VRS um, actually helped me learn how to use the DT better and like is now yeah. show me can you thing? show me oh I'm so bad at reloading it now wait wait hold on I have to fight someone oh wait hold on <laughs> oh my god T Trixie I am fucking stupid I am so sorry <laughs> You guys, I forgot you were an enemy. <laughs> Trixie. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> Balpo pulled off um, my normal, my normal uh, get to kill. <laughs> Wait, I'm so sorry. And Don't the apologize. Just shield sodas. Don't oh apologize. Shield sodas. Okay. Don't apologize because at the end of all of the weapons loadout game, I kill my opponent, whether you know I'm going to do oh, it or well, not. Oh, guess so, what? I uh, turned that one around on you. But the other thing I was going to mention was we've played together and we've played against each other and we've both already yeah. killed each other. So I was like, nah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it was funny as I Salt shot you once gaming. and I was like, do I keep going? I'm Set. like, just on my team, it doesn't matter. Hey friends, red right? heart. Sly fisting. Set. Salt killer is in here. L -U -L. Sly yeah, fisting. that's right. She killed me. It, that was planned? That was oh, planned. He thinks it was planned. <laughs> it was totally planned. That was scripted, actually. Come on, guys. I asked her to show me. <laughs> I walked into oh, it. <laughs> All right. So um, let's go grab the DT and show me, um, show oh, me your no, trick. Oh no, I'm so bad at it. That was that you're was, still bad at that it. That was good enough. That okay, good all right, enough. all right. I feel well, like I feel darn. like I have to I have to like fight people. I'm not fast yet because I think people like flick it up and I can't yep. get the flick up. Yeah, I have and to I, like do it stuck, twice to get it to flick is... up. It's annoying. Dang. That's, you should do it on your stream. That's go it's gonna get sitting down. Yeah, go to the training park and do it on stream and we can critique you. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Um, all right, let's talk about any other weapon secrets of these little beauties around here. Do you, have you learned anything that you want to share as this weapon secret? Oh, probably not. I know people probably showed like them where the stuff is written on the matadors yep yep somebody had me um, look down the pistols for that <laughs> um, no i don't i don't think i have secrets um just picking them up to see if i can remember i mean everyone knows you can zoom with the op uh-huh 
I think well, the hardest thing don't to know. master, honestly, some find that out quite a late. <laughs> uh huh. Did you? Um, well, I knew, I knew about the op, but uh, my other half didn't know about the op for quite some time, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I do know like one relative, like so people who use the Socko before, what I would do is like I would I would load it like up and then across. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's how I would load a Socko. Um, but like you can pull when it when, when it's, Miguel one when nine nine eight eight reloaded for both. Said. There's mm -hmm. a motion Hello, can that you, hear you can me? do. It's like literally just like one across shot. And it'll do and both. And it reloads the Socko. So when oh. the Socko was really strong, what people were just doing is they were doing like one super quick motion and moving their right hand a lot or like moving their left yeah. hand a lot. Yeah. And they, they were never moving their right hand. So like this just stayed as like a uh, like a good spot. And they would okay. never like when they had to reload it all through. I don't even know what I'm saying. Awesome. Um, I'm going to have to motion. learn that trick because I started using the Socko um, a little bit ago. When they did the update again, I started picking it up, and I, I don't hate it, but uh, I am okay with using it. So, yes, uh, Big Drip, we can hear you. Uh, Big Drip has joined us in uh, Twitch. Hello. If you guys are just now joining, it is the Tipsy Trixie Takeover, and my interviewee today is Valpo. Valpo, share with us where we can find you online. Um, uh, Twitch is where you can find me mostly. But I also make TikToks and then get back into them this month. And then I also am on Instagram. Um, and then if you go on my TikTok, you can find out I don't have an only Miguel one nine nine eight eight. Game way too much. Said. Okay. How are you? I enjoy the stream. That's why I don't have one. No. All right. I'm doing great, Big Drip. I'm here with my friend Valpo. Um, and we're doing the takeover and all the questions. We just finished the weapons loadout game. And uh, for those of you that are listening and uh, not necessarily watching, thank you for being around. Um, you can find Valpo if you spell her name right. B-A-L-P-E-A-U. Um, we've also got one of the most uh, best dressed and uh, well made up streamers oh. here today. Uh, we've got uh, the gal that, Slide tell me fisting. if this is true or not. Said, oh, what's Sly going to say? Reload the Sacco at like a 45 degree 45 angle upwards. 45 degree angle upwards yeah, for the yeah. Sacco. Okay, okay, exactly, cool. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's so much easier. Yep. Yeah. And so uh, my Slide question fisting. or maybe comment Said, to you is uh, I'll do it on stream. You'll do it on stream? Perfect. When are you going on uh, live next, Sly, so I can watch? <laughs> um, Valpo, you have a comment on your Twitch as a kind of about Valpo that you were a ballroom dancer made into a gamer. Were you a ballroom dancer for real? Yeah, I do. Um, I, do uh, I used to teach salsa and bachata at a Latin dance bar in uh -huh. Boston. And I would teach the beginner class at eight, and then at nine I would teach the intermediate class, and that Sweet. was really fun. And then we would do like a social, and there was like I think like 500 people per night, which was really fun. Holy and then, moly! Yeah, it was awesome. And then uh, I also did West Coast Swing, which is a version of like a version of swing, but done to modern music. And there's mm -hmm. no like flips and dips. It's much more sensual. And um, I know like a few waltz and foxtrot, but I didn't like ever compete with that stuff. I mostly did like Latin dancing and like swing dancing with partners and Omega sure. underscore Nightmare nineteen. Oh, nightmares here! Said. Yay, Belpo! Yay, Belpo! Nightmare! <laughs> Hi. He is saying hello. I miss him. <laughs> I'm sure he misses <laughs> you too. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. So, do you have any reward points on Twitch high enough for us to see you do a dance? Hmm? Yeah, actually, no, no, so if you if you sub to me, I dance, and I take requests. Oh, okay, People perfect. People just never request. Okay, well, now you guys know. Request. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hopefully no one in here watches me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure everybody in here watching watches you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, what is your least favorite weapon of these guys? I mean, you talked about P90 already. Is that really your most least favorite? Did I just say most least? Yeah, I did. Most least favorite weapon? <laughs> 
No, no, no. You know what's my least favorite, actually? is, And, and it's a good gun. Mm -hmm. But it's the 1911. Oh. And I think it's the 1911 because it had a lead for a while, so before it was hit scan. Yeah. It had a lead that was, like, just a little slower or a little faster than the Magnum and very different from the Saco. And so whenever I picked up the 1911, I was just dead instantly. Oh, and it I know that up. it's yeah. hit scan now, but the trauma is so deeply embedded <laughs> that I won't pick up that gun. <laughs> Do you have pick your loadout in your rewards points? Yeah, I have like the um they can like have me just do SMGs or just do um whatever, but I don't have like specifically they can pick which one. Okay. Gun. Okay. But then everyone would so, just request like CX4 only all the time. Right. I would go in there and be like, hee hee, 1911. <laughs> no, I would literally get zero damage on there. And oh you would God. be like, okay, I'm limiting this option. One per stream. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I think I killed someone with a 1911 like a couple of days ago. And uh -huh. I was like, I will never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the one and only time clip that chat. <laughs> um, do you organize your weapon wheel? Um, when I play comp only. Okay. Uh, and the reason why is I don't play public games seriously. I mostly come in here. I the people I choose to play with are people like that like to have fun. I don't really play with people that like takes public games really seriously. Yeah, sure. So I just like say screw it, and I just like grab a whole bunch of things. My loadout's wild. But when I'm in comp, when I'm in comp, if I don't have like my DT as like the third spot, so all the way up, where I mm -hmm. can like quickly switch to a DT, because it's the only time I need to quickly switch, mm -hmm. um, I'm screwed. Otherwise, I'm like looking at the wheel and I'm like, where did I put my <laughs> Oh, DT? it's over here, okay. <laughs> oh, here it is, I'm dead. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I organize in comp. Okay, um, and then do you have a weakness to share, a way that somebody can sneak up on you and kill you easier? Oh, Cyberblade. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Everyone so, uh, knows who watches my stream. <laughs> <laughs> you can be bladed pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I start screaming as they chase me. I'm like, I can't do cyber blades. And then I just die. Oh, that's I awesome. Don't know. I don't like them. <laughs> so, did you like the new mayhem that they did then? Swords and nades? Did you not uh, play that oh much? Oh my god. <laughs> I did it once, but I was exhausted. Plus, I just moved into a new apartment and I already hit my wall because I did oh, it for the first yep. time in yep. my new uh, my new house, actually. Uh-huh. Um, I don't think I could do it again. I, it, I'm just too dangerous. Okay. Um, let's talk about your stream. Right now, you're not able to stream because you just did a big move and you've got to set up your space for it. Um, so, why, when you're able to, why do you stream? Um, so I streamed in the beginning, um, this is going to sound so sad, because I had no friends. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> What's up, Mark? Hi, I, Omega Havocs. <laughs> hey, guys. I streamed in the beginning because I had no friends, and I was like, I was too shy. I'm, I'm relatively introverted, and I was like, I guess I could go into people's streams and introduce myself, but then they're going to be like, who the heck is this? Uh -huh. So I was like, I'm just going to start my own stream. There's a couple people who know me. Um, maybe they'll just, like, come watch. And I had, like, friends in real life root for me and, like, play with me. Uh -huh. And eventually it kind of grew to what I hoped it would be, which is, like, I stream for community. And I know people's answers usually, like, they wanted to watch themselves like play back and see how they did i don't ever watch my videos back mm -hmm. <laughs> um but <laughs> but yeah it was mostly for the community and i feel like i developed like a lot of incredible friends and met amazing people just awesome. through streaming so okay yeah well and i know you've got a lot of viewers and a lot of fans out there um i found you one day searching for new population one streamers on twitch and uh it Yay. was like Actually, I, I remember the day I met you. I was in the lobby with you, playing with somebody who said, Belpo's in here. She streams. And I was like, what? And I looked around, <laughs> and I found you. And I ran over right right over here by the, uh, the fence you were standing there. And I ran over there, and I was like, oh, my God, you're this sexy lady I'm watching on stream right <gasps> now. And you were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I ran you over to you. 
Uh -huh. I probably, you probably like said it in a really loud way. And like, you know how sometimes women can sound like kids? I yep. probably thought you were like a child. Teenage boy. Was like, you're that sexy girl. And I was uh -huh. like, yep. excuse me? <laughs> I get passed off as a teenage boy once in a while. Yeah, I, mean, I totally me do. Too. <laughs> yeah. Me too. That's uh -huh. hilarious. I don't remember that, but I can imagine me being confused thinking. You were confused. And then like I, I hit follow right as I was talking to you. And then you looked up at me and you were like, Wait, are you the one that just followed me? <laughs> <laughs> Super funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. I like that. Uh, story. <laughs> um, let's talk about your teammates. Um, how do you pick your teammates? Are they based on whether you're an attorney or not, whether you're streaming or not, whether um, they ping you first to say, let's play, let's play, or do you kind of go through Discord, or how do you pick who you play with? Mm, I think there's like one like one day a week I just log on and I hope to God someone invites me uh -huh. um, or I like <laughs> see who's available and you know how it is you're like scrolling through your friends list and you're like please pick me up please pick me up look yep. as available as possible um, <laughs> don't ever look available <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um the other times like I have like a few people that I play with regularly and it's because I know that they are like super casual with the game they want to have fun with me they're not going to be on my butt about us losing mm -hmm. and so like those people right now are like cosmic veyron um Garamichi, jsr and old greg and okay. i know if i message them we're gonna have a fun night cool so, okay um, yeah well raging handicap is here Talking about, uh, Hi, he, knows, he knows this lady. <laughs> he knows I you. I love raging. He's so great. <laughs> awesome. Well, Even when um, he's hunting Huckleberry. Right? Yeah. He's, raging has, like, the perfect name for raging. Like, he's just such an awesome player. And at the same time, he's like, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time that Huckleberry and I, we were playing, and I think I was streaming it. Mm -hmm. And then Raging was one of our enemies. Um, and we, like, rewatched it back, and me and Hucko were making the most, like, we were just goofing off, making hil hilarious comments. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> we, we watched Raging's after, and they're like, what are they doing? Push them, push them, push them. And we're like, oh, it's Raging. Should we wave? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I think I did wave. Um, <laughs> I tried that last night. I just tried that last night with Nightmare. I did, was in did a, he shoot you? Oh my gosh. He laughed so hard. I didn't I was not watching his stream. Uh -huh. Actually it was on and I had it on mute so I couldn't stream snipe him because uh -huh. I I don't think that's cool, but I literally oh, knew yeah. it was him from his outfit in his gold roy. And we were up in High Farms over there and I I looted up and both of my teammates um one of them was down and the other one was hiding and i was like it's nightmare no it, it's not a problem guys i'm gonna go out there and he's not gonna shoot me because he's told me before that if, oh. if somebody was in front of him with his hands up like this ah, he wouldn't <gasps> shoot him but i was not wow. in my in, i was not in my original zero skin and that's what he's used oh. to me wearing i was in the uh nightmare juggies girl Sly Fisting's favorite, Juggies <laughs> girl. <laughs> oh, oh, the one that Zalota uses? Frontier Cogs girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Love her. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anyways, I ran up right in front of him. I threw my hands up in the air and I scared the crap out of him and he shot me to death. And then all I could see as a ghost was him like laughing like this. He was just like, you could tell. Oh I didn't God. see his stream, but I haven't gone back to watch it. He was laughing so hard. I could, I was imagining his laugh. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God, his laugh. Uh -huh. His historic yeah. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't wait to go back and watch that. But like, yeah, other players have effects like on us like that, where we're just like, Raging is awesome. Nightmare is awesome. Like, there's just yeah. a bunch of players that we enjoy playing with out there. They By the way. kill me. Yeah. <laughs> um, lady said um, that you guys need to have another date night soon. But what yes, I think we do, should lady. do, we should do. Do you have walkabout golf? I do have walkabout mini golf. Mm, I smell a ladies that? night. Oh yeah, I think that uh, we we could, we could all get together and get a bunch of ladies together and walk about. I was I was gonna say that now we can bring more ladies if we're doing golf. 
I yes. will stream. I'll stream that. Why not? Yes. Awesome. Uh, I was after that Huckleberry. He messaged me and told me. <laughs> That's raging. <laughs> and Lady says it's a date. Day. <laughs> so we just need to it's figure out when we want to do a ladies' night for golfing. That's awesome. <laughs> um, good. Yep. We'll all we'll all dress in our like nicest date outfit and then stream it. How's that? How's that, guys? <laughs> How's that, guys and gals? <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Do you ever play solo? Do you ever play with noobs? Um, I play with solos with like games like Legions. Mm -hmm. um, this sounds so weird, but like, and I don't know if you feel this way, Trixie, but sometimes I feel really embarrassed when I lose a game or when I perform <laughs> badly or if I have bad stats. It's almost like the weight of being a female gamer is on my shoulders and I like <laughs> have to prove to the world I'm not bad. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. I, I have become more humble knowing who I yeah. now play with. Um, I will never be at that highest level. Um, I am a very good third and I am great when I play with Reaper. But anytime I get thrown Ooh. into like a team that I'm not used to or a team that rushes and I'm, ch ch you know, chasing them the whole time, mm -hmm. I do feel that inadequacy where I'm just like, Ugh, do they really want to keep playing with me? Where I've actually said that when we go back to lobby after we lose and I'm like, if you guys want to pick up someone else, that's OK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yes, I, feel I do too. feel and that unequity, like um, the inequity of uh, male and female uh, gaming expectation. Yeah, and I texted Zoloto this, but right after her and I played the ladies tournament and won, every single day I had someone, and I'm not even kidding, like people were DMing me, people I didn't know, mm -hmm. to like say that I was bad at the game. They were like, oh. you're so shit at the game, like, are you so sick of losing, you decided to bring in a ringer. Um, like, why don't you quit? Like, a bunch of things about me being bad at the game. And, and I've never, ever once said I think I'm good at the game. Mm -hmm. But it was, I don't know, it just felt... I, I feel like in some ways I have to perform at, like, a minimum level. Because, mm -hmm. like, I have, like, this weight of, like, being a female gamer. And it's so silly and so irrational, and I shouldn't have to feel that. Um, but yeah, it definitely, it definitely bothers me. And I know some other ladies who feel the same, like when they do poorly, it yep. affects them twice as hard as it would like a guy who performed with the same numbers. Cause like they yes. feel like they need to prove something. Yep. I'm also going so. to call the elephant out in the room here. Um, you are one of the most attractive streamers out there. People know you for being dolled up on the screen. Um, Aww. And I think that you might have, um, I'm, I'm just gonna say it because I, I feel like this is something that um, keeps me from putting a camera on my stream. I feel uh -huh. like you create haters if you look attractive. And I um, just like, yeah. I, I just am like, I'm not about that. I wanna be like, everybody in the community is a friend. I don't care what clan you're in. I don't care, you know, the only ones I don't wanna really hang out with are the toxic ones and I mean truly toxic not the banter and not the like devil's reaper and space roach thing going on that they love to hate each other and love each other and <laughs> not that kind of stuff but yep. um it's one of the things that keeps me from putting a camera up on my stream honestly is like no, it's the haters you. and uh no, I think that you. that might be what you're experiencing is part of that is just the haters that you've got a lot going on for you. You're a great gamer. You are good looking. You are a smart woman. You are successful. Like, people gotta hate that. <laughs> He's so nice. Say that one more time. No one said that to me. Um, yeah, that's, so, that's so sweet of you. There's, Mic drop, I'm gonna walk there, away. No. <laughs> there are so many beautiful ladies on here in general. I certainly don't think I'm the most attractive in any way, shape, or form. There are so many pretty um, women on here. Mm -hmm. But in like on the note of of that, what's funny and, and just to like bring transparency because I think men don't realize this, but I had someone say to me that like I didn't really know he came into my game. He was like, "You must have so many people, quote unquote, simp for you, uh -huh. um, in game and in your DMs all the time." And what's crazy is like 
No, total opposite. <laughs> no one does. I'm not even kidding. No one does, and I'm fine with that. Like, I'm not looking. <laughs> She's not that, asking, guys. But... She's not asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking, but you should. Um, no, I'm not asking for that, but um, I get so much more hate. Um, like, the, like, my friends are my friends, and we have a great time, but, like, there's no simping. If there's anything, like, out of character, like, friendship-wise, it's I get a lot of, like, hate in my DMs, and I've just kind of took a, took a while, but, like, I've learned to just deal with it, and that's, yep. that's fine, but yep. I think that men think that, like, women streamers are getting a lot of, like, attention and a lot of simping, but yeah. we're, like, for some reason, attract, we attract a lot of crappy comments towards us more than we attract, like, we do, and I'm just going to say it, because we attract that kind of stuff, we deserve the extra follows and the extra views. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, guys! Yeah. Chill out! <laughs> this is going to be a little harder, guys. I don't need all the hate, man. <laughs> What's up, Southampton? Thanks for joining the stream. I am here with Belpo doing my takeover interview. Um, and uh, we're getting to the uh, questions a little more about, I don't know, personal questions here shortly, but uh, we're still talking game right now. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I was asking a little bit about if you played solo or if you play with noobs. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Nope, that's okay. Um, yeah, I, play with, I love playing with new players. Um, probably more than I like playing with sweaty players because I feel mm -hmm. like they're so appreciative. And they're like, you're so good at this game. I'm like, oh, I'm not, but I like that you think I am and like a role model to you. <laughs> um, so I love, I love playing with new players. Awesome. Okay. Um, you've been playing for a long time. You mentioned playing um, like just a couple of months after it first started, right? Um, mm -hmm. Pop One first started. And I want to know, what is the earliest skin you own, or what is your favorite skin to wear? Oh my god, my earliest skin is the Ice Queen, the Elsa mm -hmm. one. Aurora, yes. And I got it at the time. Paired with like, this one? Hates it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they did such uh, a shady I... job on it. It's almost creepy and man-like. <laughs> yeah, and, but, I, but I think it, it reminds me of like if Elsa went to Coachella. She like looks like she's at a rave. <laughs> Um, so like totally. I bought it because okay. I was like, this is fucking hilarious. Like I'm gonna wear this one all the time. Um, not my favorite. I'm wearing this one because it's Halloween and I feel I felt like I needed to change it up and put a costume on. Okay, yeah. Um, but what's I like NYX. Tell I me like what, NYX. What's NYX? So NYX is the one. Do you know the one that? It's oh, the female I do that know. Has, like the short N Y X. Sleeve. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was yep. thinking N -Y Nick, -X. like N-I-C-K. I was like, who's um, Nick? <laughs> I just feel like a badass. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew this, uh, and this is, I know this from a book I read, but Nyx is actually the Greek goddess for night. Did you Ooh, know that? I didn't know that. Nice. I do also yep. like and occasionally wear it. So I agree. So it's she probably... was one of the, the first goddesses of like creation. And yeah. I really like, uh, I really like the name that personifies her. Yep, I agree. I, I think she's one of my favorite ones in the group of collection that I've owned as well. Um, is there any type of uh, skin that you would want to see or added some kind of either costume or new player? Like uh, anything that you thought of that would look good as a skin? I want a diamond. I wanted a diamond Anna, not a... Rainbow? Not a gold Anna. I wanted her Ooh. to like actually have like diamond lighting. I thought that that would be so effing cool. Yeah, um, not with like silver with the... hair. That would be cool. Not to stick with that like yeah. plain gold. Maybe they'll nah. They'll still make gold Millie. <laughs> they'll, they'll still make gold Millie. Yep, they will. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they'll do the next step up from gold is what platinum and then di maybe maybe they'll do the next levels in. The same color as the rank system yeah yeah i hope so i hope so yeah. i'd also love to see like um and i know they won't do the skins for the swords but i'd like to see like a balloon animal sword skin <laughs> i just think that would be so cool funny. i still want to um, see a banana and a shaker skin yeah banana. <laughs> i think we look like so stupid so running easy. around like big ass bananas and shakers <laughs> 
Yeah, I feel like a banana would be so easy to. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Fortnite did it. Did it. So well, yeah, why they not? did. <laughs> you know what? Also, there's a player in here. I'm not gonna mention who, but he like offered Big Box like ten to twenty grand. I can't remember what it was to make a skin <laughs> for him, and oh. they said no. And I was like, that could have been advertisement for them because they could have just like put took the money, put that in the shop with that person's branded name, and like that yep. could have been like a cool community thing, you know? Indeed, yep. Um, kind of like how they did, a, yeah, kind of like how they did a, a J-Rod's build on the tattoo of yeah. that one um, player, that one skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I know that you don't have your streaming setup done yet because of your move, um, but you're still playing Pop 1. Are you able to share your stats with us? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, do I know them? I don't know, do you? <laughs> I also don't know. Um, I My stats are not good right What's now. What's up, Nick in chat? Look. Thanks for joining. <laughs> All right. So While here's, you're looking here's at my that. Go ahead. Here's my problem with my stats. <laughs> because I don't play with people that carry me all the time, people actually think I'm a bad player and my stats reflect on me being a bad player. No. Nah. Um, <laughs> so, um, I, I'm at a 55% win rate, which isn't bad. Um, that is I'll good. Accept. That is good. Um, <laughs> 724 Dam average damage, which is bad. I feel like I could, if I focused and played with sweaty players, I feel like I could do a lot better than that. Mm -hmm. And then 2.934 kills. And that sounds about right, because I get my kills stolen pretty often. Yep, I, don't care I do to too. Chase people. Yep. <laughs> I play with sweaty <laughs> like, people, so I get high damage and low <laughs> kills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Me too. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's see here. Did you like the rank placement when we had it in place? Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I was in, I was messaging the devs like every other day. Like they were probably so sick of me. Um, <laughs> like I'm so sorry guys. I am probably the reason that they took it down. Here was my problem with it and I told them this. You cannot force a mandatory new mode like that, especially a mandatory like ranked mode. Like, uh -huh. they left no option for regular squads, and they are like, oh, it's just the Star War. Like, good luck with the eight other children. Um, and the, the problem <laughs> I had with ranked is not that I, like, couldn't get Grand Banana. Like, I was still getting Grand Banana. Uh -huh. The problem I had with ranked was that all of my teammates turned into, like, the Hulk. Like, at, they would just, like, as soon as they got on to play with them, they, like, ripped off their shirts and turned into the Hulk and they would like rage quit on me yeah, yeah rage quit on me they wouldn't allow me to bring certain people in like we had to have conversations about who was allowed and who was not allowed in mm -hmm. um we, we couldn't play with random so we couldn't like just duo and have fun um I would get yelled at constantly like people were like trying to take me into bot matches to Ooh. help me with like with certain weapons <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, guys, I'm just like, I just want to play and have fun. Yep. Um, and so they didn't me, leave an option about, for that. Yeah. Yeah, it was more it about, was like, rough. the people, the way that they responded, and, like, the, the way that they, it, like, frustrated and pissed people off so much, and they, like, became different people. That's why I didn't like it. And they just, all they need to do is have two game modes. That's yep. all they need to do. Agreed. Yep. And uh, I, I felt like that was, uh, from the very beginning, exactly what I was saying was just like, please, just put both the modes in there. There's a lot of people who really yeah. liked it. Um, but for those of us that really enjoy playing the game, competitiveness is still important to us. It's just we didn't turn into these, like, dripping wet hulks. <laughs> yeah. So. And I told them, I was like, they, what they were worried about is filling the lobbies, right? Like, they didn't want another game mode that wasn't going to fill lobbies. So I told, like, basically all they needed to do was create a switch that allowed them to turn off if they were to gain or lose RP. Mm -hmm. So if you're just coming on and warm up, you can just flip, like, turn off RP gain, 
-hmm. you go into a regular match, you're still in the same lobbies, like it's no concern. But I know that that brings other problems. People were camping, blah, 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 blah. But it was like a relatively okay band-aid. But you it's know? also why um, they had high, high numbers in uh, TDM. I believe it was TDM they were running side yeah. by side with it. And they had extremely high numbers in TDM during rank because of rank. So Yeah, um, exactly. I think that so that silly. played so um, a role in their decision to cut the rank off. I do think that it's going to come back. I think it, we will uh, see its face again. Yeah, so, um, yeah we definitely will. Hopefully adjusted in, in ways that we all can, mostly, most of us can agree with. Exactly. All right. I'm going to ask you some personal questions. And uh, for all the people Ooh. that are sending me requests to play with you right now, I cannot play with you right now. I've got this VIP <laughs> in front of me, Valpo, who uh, is a streamer on, uh, let me know where, you, where we can find you online. Uh, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram. Perfect. Okay, so um, let's see here. Thanks, Raging Handicap. Um, he's uh, complimenting the ideas that we're talking about back and forth. And we've also uh -huh. got uh, Heat Savag. Uh, I'm thinking it maybe that's Savage. I just can't see the rest of the mm. letter. Oh, yeah, it's e, It's a three <laughs> E. Yeah, Duh. yeah. I just keep laughing. Heat Savage, it's been a hot minute since I've <laughs> played this game. Also, hi. Doo -doo -doo. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. All right. I'm back on top. So here's the fun questions that everybody's lingering around to listen to. All these personal questions to get to know the lady behind the screen a little bit more. Oh, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's talk about mm -hmm. what is your favorite food? Oh. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Why is this the hardest question? Um, <laughs> Asian food. Asian food. Okay. Um, doesn't matter what it is. I really like um, Japanese and Thai and Vietnamese. And mm -hmm. so I cook a lot of my dishes with like Vietnamese or even Indian okay. like style. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to pick just like all encompassing Asian food. Okay. That's that is a food choice. I'll give it to you. <laughs> what about? <laughs> um, I know, but that's still um, it is a style of eating. I think it's a an easy food choice to. Mine is Mexican food, and that for the same reasons, Ooh. all Mexican food. It doesn't have to be it's like specific so, type. So it's good. just all Mexican mm -hmm. food. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favorite holiday? Ooh, Thanksgiving, because I love food. And the, the <laughs> house I just got has two ovens. Yeah. So I feel like it was made for Thanksgiving. Oh, nice. Um, and it's it's not yeah. that far away. So um, maybe you should do a cooking stream. I bet you would get a lot of I viewers. I should. I've been thinking about it, actually, doing like a gaming cooking stream. Uh-huh. To like yep. make uh, – someone, someone was going to do this before, and I want to steal this idea, to make like very easily quick – accessible uh, meals for gamers who don't want to mm -hmm. spend so long in the kitchen and make it like super tasty and I love that like, idea efficient. yeah um, I, I've been I've been thinking about that you're not the first person who has mentioned uh, doing cooking streams that come from population one streamers so really? um, Ooh, yeah I need um, it has been guys. done by a couple of others um, but there's a lot of folks that talk about doing the cooking stream which um, which is fun because we get to see your face outside of the VR I think yeah. <laughs> unless you're gonna cook with yeah. it with it on that that would be funny too <laughs> I that would lead to disaster I should do it <laughs> what's up nugs yeah i did get your invite um thanks for joining in the stream i appreciate you <laughs> nugs is here uh super nugs uh let's see here let's talk about your favorite tv show or movie Ooh, oh my god i don't know my favorite movie is eternal sunshine okay what is that mind, about because i'm i'm angsty oh <laughs> um my favorite TV show? I don't I don't know if I have a favorite TV show. I will say I'm currently watching Rings of Power. Okay. Like that's my that's my, my show of choice right now. I haven't started the um, Game of Thrones one yet, but I'm watching Rings of Power and I think it's insane. But I have a friend that has a quote unquote PhD in Tolkien, mm -hmm. uh, which is the author. And you must get along me, with Nightmare so well. 
<laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, love it. And my my friend who has this like PhD in Tolkien, like after every episode, he'll be like, you know why this is inaccurate? It's because X, Y, Z. And I'm like, listen, they made a Lord of the Rings TV show. <laughs> Shut up. I know. <laughs> like, enjoy we can it. Enjoy please. it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you're stuck with what's left and, and wondering. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I am too, Emma fan. And uh, currently, I'm. I'm uh, getting through the Game of Thrones one, but uh, haven't reached Is over it good? to the. I like it. It does do a nice uh, version of uh, what happened before, um, and there's a lot of links that they're connecting in. You know what they're talking about. You're like, oh yeah, that's what happens later. <laughs> I so, hear that like Damon guy, and then I don't know what the woman's name is, but I hear mm-hmm. like that relationship is fire. Mm-hmm. And I yes. I read a lot of those types of books fire okay. books i should say and uh totally i it would totally be up my alley to watch that yep. show I'm you just, will enjoy it get <laughs> um <laughs> all right let's talk about furry little friends and critters do you have any pets i do i have a yorkie okay a what's puppy. the yorkie's name his name is wes um i didn't name him uh, wes. his like, owner was gonna... like wesley snipes no, <laughs> that's funny. His name, his full name on his like birth certificate is Weston, like the okay. hotel. Cute. <laughs> um, but his owner, like a bit, like a a little bit before COVID, she was basically just going to bring him to like essentially a kill, sh- like a beautiful, oh. sweet five year old Yorkie to like a shelter. Yeah. And uh, like even when went to go pick up the Yorkie. Um, she made, like, me sign a document that said that I wouldn't bring him back. Um, <gasps> wow. I know, like, and I, I don't like Yorkies. I don't like small dogs, um, usually. But he is the sweetest, sweetest angel. He doesn't bark. Um, but, yeah, I, so he, like, happened into my life. Aww. Well, congrats on Wes. How cute. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he's so cutie. All right. I'm going to guess if I think you drink or prefer coffee, energy drinks, tea, or soda. Um, and, gosh, I feel like um, you could drink coffee, but I feel like maybe you like tea. You like Japanese food, Asian food, teas and falls with that. I'm going to go with tea. Yeah, I would say tea, too. Um, I have a caffeine intolerance, so I can't really drink coffee even though I love it. So, yeah, uh-huh. I'm a tea drinker. Perfect. Okay. Yay. Yeah. I don't do too Ooh, bad. <laughs> uh, when, let's see here. When you jump into the game, do you jump straight into playing? Do you go to the training park? Do you use uh, TDM? Do you war? Legions? Like, what do you do when you put the headset on and you're ready to go? What is your choice? Um, right now, I go right into Legions. Um, okay. I, I find a squad and I'm like, are you going to play Legions? And they'll be like, no, I'm going to play squad. So I'll be like, all right, I'll see you later. And then I leave squad and I do the same thing over until someone plays Legions. Um, I should do more training park. I don't really care to warm up once again because, like, I don't care what my stats are and, mm-hmm. like, I do it to have fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I if there was, like, ever a time where I was doing a lot of comp or if I wanted to boost my – like, I'm in VRS. I'm in the clan I want to be in. I have no reason to boost my stats. If sure. I – it disintegrated for whatever reason I wanted to join a, a really good clan, then I would probably do training park every day. Okay. What's up, Miss Misery? I see you there lurking. Say hello. I'm, I'm here with Belpo, and we just finished okay. talking to Lady before she went to go pick up uh, Riley. And uh, I think we're going to do a, a ladies' night golf uh, stream. So uh, hopefully we can uh, figure that out and uh, get you in there. I know that your evenings are a little tougher, but hopefully we can pick a day that will work with you. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to say hi, Misery. <laughs> I want to meet her so bad. You know, I haven't played with her yet. You haven't? Okay, mm-hmm. so we're supposed her, to. Her and I are very – we've realized that we're kind of like the twinsies. Um, we're both Cali Valley, um, a lot of similarities, how we met our, uh, significant other, how, like, there's just a lot of things <gasps> that we talk Did about. Did you meet him on this game? 
not on this game but on another game oh. yeah yeah so oh, cute. Um, we kind of laugh because it's every time she mentions something I'm like oh my god me too <laughs> so oh, that's so if you cute. like me you'll probably very much like her she's pretty awesome <laughs> yeah I can't wait lady said she's gonna give me an intro I'm just oh, waiting lady. perfect ladies. yep yep maybe we can uh, do a little ammo trail to her <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Love that. laughs> um, let's see here. Um, let's talk about your top three streamers to watch. Ooh, to watch? Yeah. Who do you like to <laughs> click on and hang out with? <laughs> that sounds so bad. So, okay, maybe number maybe number one is Slick Skills. Okay. Because sometimes I kill him. And I'm really proud of it, but most of the time he kills me. And <laughs> I always go back and rewatch myself die to him. And or I just like to watch him play and be like, right. how the hell does he do that and marvel all of his <laughs> gameplay? I've never uh-huh. spoken yep. to this guy once. But I'm like, You don't even incredible... jump in chat and say hello? <laughs> I don't even just... say hi. I've never introduced <laughs> myself. He knows who I am because whenever he sees me in the street, like in when he's been playing in the street, he uh-huh. like corrects people for me, and he's like, "That's a girl, actually. That's a woman." Um, <laughs> and he'll be like, "Oh, Valpo's in here." So like we both, we both know each other. You acknowledge each other. Be, uh-huh. I shouldn't be so scared of him, but anyway, I I watch him a lot because I think he's incredibly impressive. Okay. Um, well, that's kind of what I was too. telling you about Sumachi. How I'm like. I know we already talked about doing the interview, and he said he would, but you know, I was like, oh my god, it's too much. He's like, oh my god. So, chat, I just want to let you know, scary. I took the next step. I reached out to Sumachi today to get him on an interview. So, I am awaiting his answer. <laughs> I like Sumachi. I think he will, what he will say is he will say, as long as I'm free. And he is well, the sweetest, sweetest person. So he will absolutely come on. Awesome. Um, who else do I watch besides? I, I probably pop into Nightmare a lot. I raid uh-huh. him a bunch. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I really should watch more streamers. Good Lord. Um, I used to I used to go in and just follow people mm-hmm. that I didn't recognize. Um, like, have you met Salt Killer? Who? Salt Killer. So she is on Twitch and Facebook. She's a newer streamer, but she's been playing for a while. I just did her interview. She's in chat right now. She wants to play with you, and she's awesome. (gasps) I want to play with her. Yeah. I want to play with her. Yes, another uh, lady power here. Um, A lot of us uh, gal players are so supportive of other gals um, who play, and Salt Killer is one of them. So, um, yeah, Um, Salt Killer, you can find this gal on Twitch and TikTok and Instagram. It's spelled B-A-L-P-E-A-U, like E-A-U is in beautiful. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it means. <laughs> I, um, I, I'll be, like, if I can promote for one second, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, do it. I love playing with the ladies, and um, I think that, I love being in VRS, but I think that the problem with VRS is it's, as the, as the guys say, very dude heavy. Mm-hmm. And so it's literally just me and one other person. So right now I have been like hunting for uh, like another girl or two mm-hmm. to please join VRS and like super, super relaxed. Um, if anyone like any of the ladies want to reach out to me, I'll just bring you into scrim. You can tell me how you feel if you like it and if you're interested in joining. Um, but we, we desperately need female players and you don't have to worry about being like the best of the game that's not what it's about like brs has such a great family atmosphere and we're happy to like train but um it's super dude heavy and i really need some more um, estrogen in there badly <laughs> are you required to do comps in brs what'd you say are you required to do comps in brs no Okay. I no, I wouldn't dare touch comps. Um, that is a big you, question that I get about why they don't join clans is because they don't want to do comps. So there you guys heard no. it. You're not required in VRS if you're interested. Yeah, not necessarily. So like we ask, there might be a situation where a team really needs a sub because like everyone's not available. And like if you're willing to be like, hey, 
I might not be up to that tier, but like I will help you and like I'll show up and be a body for you since you can't find someone. Like mm-hmm. I even do that and I hate doing it, but like <laughs> that's your team, you know? So you go yeah. and you support them. Um, but like it's a conversation when you join BRS, like if you want to do comps, things like that. Um, but okay. yeah, I, if BRS is like such a spectacular clan, it just needs more women. Okay. Uh, any other favorite streamers you want to mention or you want to move on? Um, um, I really like, so th- this isn't picking favorites because I'm not even mentioning any of my friends because all my friends <laughs> know I love them. But like, just like hidden secrets. I watch Jansen Fox almost every morning. I do, do you know too. Who that is? <laughs> oh. I do too. Never I love his the guy stream. Either. Oh, he's so much fun to talk to. <laughs> mm. I need an intro. I've never spoken to this guy. I think he's the most hilarious thing ever. I put it on when I work. I was just like the side of my computer, just doing yep. some Fox doing his thing. Yep. Love his channel redeems. I think he's incredible. <laughs> I his really, high pitch really voice wanted. one, his uh, his yeah. sexual content his one, where he the, one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. I oh, I love his content. Mhm. Great guy. Yep. yep. Those are my um, favorites. So I think Nightmare, okay. and uh, him. Perfect. Um, my question next is going to be <laughs> whether or not I think you rage quit. And I would love to watch Valpo rage quit, but the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> True I or false? I don't rage quit. I very apologetically leave if I get spam to join a squad and I'm solo. That is not rage Sometimes quitting, I'll so. <laughs> very apologetically be like, I'm so sorry, I'm leaving you guys here. I'm going to leave all my stuff here. I swear to God, I'm not leaving for any reason except for that I have my friends. Oh, um, so I apologize, awesome. but I never like just like rage quit. Never. <laughs> uh, what are your <laughs> thoughts playing with squeakers? Oh my god, it depends. I play with a lot of kids, and I think people know that about me. Like, I, I, I am of the age where I'm like nesting, so I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, you sweet child, you sweet baby child. <laughs> um, so I like, <laughs> I like playing with kids, especially the mature ones. If if a kid is acting where I feel like I have to babysit them or like teach them how to be a good person mm-hmm. or to behave properly, like. No, I can't play with that level of a speaker. Um, <laughs> okay. Like everyone, like, everyone in my team, no matter their age, should be able to be mature. Okay. You know? Yep, I do know. Um, I am also a fan of playing with the youth. Um, I do have my limits for sure, but I got to say my favorite is watching the frustrating ones um, play with Devil's Reaper because he gets them. I don't know how he gets them <laughs> all the time. And he gets so angry because they will not res or they're just a little dick. And like, it's on his stream like all the time. I gotta say it's, it happens to him like once a week, something randomly awful oh with a young god. kid happens with him. And it was like yesterday for him. And I was just like, oh my God, here it goes again. <laughs> I'm um, obsessed. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if they're bad at the game. They can be absolutely trash at the game. But mm-hmm. like, as long as they behave themselves emotionally, <laughs> like little gentlemen, then I'm fine. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Do you want to, oh, I can hear little pop one baby crying. That's okay, buddy. This this dream's almost over. It's coming, hold on. <laughs> um, do you want to thank anyone that helps you stream or has helped you do your setup or that has helped you give time um, for you to take to join pop one as much as you do? Is there anybody that's like, supportive of you either um in your real life or somebody in the streaming world that has helped you that you want to say thank you to uh yeah magic cow for getting me my first win Mm -hmm. cosmic veron for literally dropping everything no matter the time of day like if he's at the gym he'll immediately come home if he knows i'm gonna stream Mm -hmm. um to help me stream um and I actually feel Lodo for being such a badass woman to represent all the other women mm-hmm. and being so approachable. I'm so thankful that she's like the female head of the community. Perfect. Tell Zolodo that I'm lurking. <laughs> if there was a way to lurk and she doesn't stream, so it's kind of hard I to wish lurk. She so. might. So I was oh. talking to her. She, she's moving to Russia and uh-huh. she's thinking about streaming. So stay tuned, guys. 
Okay, well, hook me up. <laughs> I'll get her on here, guys, mm -hmm. if Belpo hooks me mm -hmm. up. <laughs> of course, I absolutely will. Awesome. Um, okay, so the next question is a super important question. I think it's why I have viewers uh, still in my chat right now. I actually think it's a, a bunch of people who really want to know the answer to it. So, I got to know. Thong, granny panties, long <laughs> underwear. What do you wear when you're playing this game? <laughs> uh, um... Uh. <laughs> um <laughs> tr truth <laughs> truth <laughs> commando <laughs> um yeah i probably when i play this game i probably am commando in like leggings or with um pajama bottoms on but uh -huh. i like every other time it's only thongs and i feel weird wearing anything else now i don't know why i think it's because my parents are european and like that's what we're told women wear yeah, in Europe, yeah. but I also yeah. have this perception and it's complete stereotype that ballroom dancers wear thongs like I don't know in my brain that's what they wear <laughs> because no, of the sense, because right? of the, the outfits tight, the you can't clothes? yes you can't have yeah. lines you can't yes okay so okay <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely like I can't I can't wear the other you're right it feels so baggy now I don't know why like uh -huh. I've been wearing them since I was like 10 because the rest feels so baggy on me mm -hmm, it's like wearing mm -hmm. a diaper sometimes for me but that's but just me. I, I gotta just... say sometimes wearing the diaper is like lovely too <laughs> yeah yeah there are times the diaper is necessary <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome okay um let's talk about your stream setup um you have a very lovely background you do not use a green screen i noticed you've got a beautiful sign in the background and you've got some things hanging off of your headset let's talk about um, what you use for your stream. Yeah, so my mom got me the Valpo sign. Mm -hmm. um, I saw them online, they're like 350 bucks. And I was like, mom, I really want this sign. I can't afford it, help. Mm -hmm. And like, she, she also like can't afford that stuff either, but she's amazing at researching. She got that sign on Amazon for a hundred bucks. Woo, nice. It's huge too, nice. like it's pretty, pretty sizable. So, yep. like, if anyone wants one with their own name on it, like, my mom can hook you up. Okay. Um, uh, the other lights, like, I just wanted to integrate, like, some more fun stuff. I'm going to get a bubble machine soon. Mm -hmm. For when people follow me, the bubble machine will automatically go off. Yeah, awesome. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> yeah. I have to code that. I need Greg to help me. But, nice. like, we're going to get there. Um... And then what was the other thing about my stream besides the lights? Uh, like you've my... got some pieces hanging off. I think you have a special oh. mic or something. Yeah. On your headset. Yeah, I got these. I have devil horns on the front uh -huh. of my headset. That, Which like, I wanted cat. I wanted cat ears on uh, the front of mine. So when I saw your horns, I was like, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love them. I got them on Etsy for less than $10. Okay. And then it came late. So he like just refunded them to me. He like emailed me. He was like, sorry, you didn't get them. And I forgot to order them. He's like, I'll send them for you free. And I'm like, okay, so those are free. Sweet. Um, <laughs> that worked out. And then I have, I know, right? And then I have the Bionic Mantis headphones, mm -hmm. which attach straight to the headset. I think they're so much better than putting like the big bulky headphones over. Oh, and it's yeah. uh, made for PC VR specifically. Perfect. Okay. Um, so they're amazing. And then I have the Rebuff Reality battery pack because mm -hmm. um, it goes up to eight hours. And I just okay. feel like that that's super important. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. When you're playing, uh, you have to make a decision when you uh, join the platform. Hot drop or pod? When do you make your decision to do that? Oh, I don't. I just jump. <laughs> Every time? Do unless you ever take someone, a pod? Yeah, un unless someone <laughs> says to me, pod, mm -hmm. I could be on the worst hot drop part of the platform where, like, people start to get mad. Uh -huh. I just start running off the platform. <laughs> and then, like, you'll see many times in game, if you see someone, like, rotate back to platform, that's probably me because it's probably, like, them being, like, Your that's team a bad telling you, no, no, like, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I think it's because oh. when I'm in game, like, I, I'm pretty chatty. I'm so busy talking to my squad mates. Like, yeah. I need to know that I have one thing that I do every single time the game loads. Uh -huh. And it has to be pod every time or hot drop every time. Okay. Um, so I just hot drop every time. I'm a follower. I literally, like, I either know how you play because I, I lurk in your stream. So I, 
I know I'm hot <laughs> dropping or potting, um, or I literally <laughs> wait for the person in front of me. <laughs> so yep, uh, yep. I guess that makes me not a leader in this game, which is fine because I consider myself the, the like perfect third teammate. <laughs> Um, yeah, I no, am the res I, queen, I, and <laughs> you can stop me anytime. Yep. <laughs> All right. So um, let's see. In your opinion today, could you list out maybe the top three, five, somewhere, uh, depending on how <laughs> list your, how big your list is, um, best pop one players? Because there's a lot of them out there, and for different reasons. So, um, what do you think? So to preface this. Trixie asked this of everyone at Super Play. She's like, what are the questions that you are not comfortable with me asking? <laughs> and I said, don't ask me who my favorite person is because then I'm going to get into so much trouble. So to preface, <laughs> she's being super sweet and she's saying top three to five because I was like, <laughs> I don't want to get into this fight with everyone being like, but I'm the best. Yep. Um, so I'm just throwing myself under the bus. Um, <laughs> you totally did. I'm going to let you do it because I'm just like, okay. <laughs> um, I, weirdly enough, I think that the best player in this game, like, well, one of the top three is, is Austin 1056. He's a little kid, but he has every, so he, he plays, he played in diamond division. Mm -hmm. He knew what gun was everyone's favorite gun? He had to memorize what everyone's favorite gun is. And then what he did was he memorized everyone's skin that they used with their favorite gun. And he what? did this so he knew, like, no matter what, like, because everyone has to be a very, like, PJ, Roy, and Hattie. Yeah. If he looked at the Roy across the way and he knew that one person, uh, like, all the Roys were these people. Ooh, and wow. that, per that Roy has this skin, that's Tech 9 Jr. So he knew um, who to go after and where they were at based on that yeah, quality. Yeah, he okay. knew wow. everyone in Diamond Division. Like you could, you he knew everyone in Diamond Division and what gun skins they used. And so when we played mixed doubles, he did the same thing. Like he knew what all the top players' gun skins were. So we were targeting people in very specific ways, even though it was at the time just one generic skin. And I think that that's like that's next level for me. And he's already a cool. uh, great player. Um, but the fact that he was memorizing skins was just like insane to me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, punk punk I, rock, I, Dan. Thanks for joining the stream. Hello. <laughs> hi, Dan. Um, and then uh, the obvious ones will be like Sumachi. The yep. fact that he can, ch I'm more impressed with like what people are able to do outside the box. Like he changes his settings. Did you know this? To what? So he he plays specific guns depending on the hand. So in the middle of a match, oh. if he's switching to a different gun, he'll uh -huh. make it left-handed. Oh, I did not know this. Wow. Yeah. So he plays both right-handed and left-handed depending on the gun, and he like or or and he switches uh, like motion dampening constantly. Okay. Um. Like in the middle of the game, and I'm like, how is he this good at the game? <laughs> and so fast because he can setting. like he can disappear on you. Like he he will like disappear right in front of your yeah. eyes. And uh, guys, it is not any kind of hack. This guy knows how to double back and hide and like completely disappear from your eyesight and and come up right behind you and slaughter you like he just yeah does it <laughs> he's amazing ask him ask him about him changing his settings like mid-match because it's okay. like incredible to think that he does that yep um, I, I have a feeling i'm gonna have to step up my interview with him to ask him way more technical questions <laughs> oh my god yeah absolutely he's he's like i i he's so fascinating to me as a person when like how he plays um, and then I think, I think the last, like, best player, and, like, this is mechanically, I'm just, like, super impressed with outside the box. The last one is, is Slick Skills. That's why I watch him so much. Mm -hmm. Reason being is because, like, the way he can use an op, and he's one of the very few players that constantly solo, uh, solo plays. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can be a really good player and play constantly with, like, a regular squad, but I don't see anyone who solo queues as much as Slick Skills, and I think that that's really impressive, and he's like constantly trying to get better. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know anything about his character, because I've never chatted with him, so. Okay. I mean, he seems like a nice guy, right? 
All right. Well, yeah, and I've watched him several times. I follow him as well and uh, have been considering him um, for an yeah. interview. Those are my faves. Um, I can only lurk so many streams a week, man. You guys are, like, popping up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I just followed, like, a brand new, I don't know, it was, like, 15 new Twitch streamers on Pop 1 that I found. Oh, my God. 15. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, if you ever if you ever bring him on here, tell him that I've been trying to play with him for like a year. <laughs> I'm lurking in his chat and saying nothing. I so, will do that. <laughs> All right, um, we are down to our last question of the interview. So I just want to say, you know, thank you for your time today. I appreciate um, you're you. not able to like stream yet until your setup is done in your new place. Congratulations on your move in your new place. Um, Thank yay, you. yeah. I'm gonna post my, my house in my Discord. <laughs> if anyone wants Perfect. To see it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, so, the last question is Do you have a proudest achievement or a moment in Pop One that you'd like to share about something that you like maybe um, put a reel out for because it was so impressive, or a person that you met, or something that happened with a noob? Or is there something that comes to mind that you want to share as like just a moment of pop one that you were really proud of? Um, I am proud every time I use a Sokka like a shotgun and they die and I like keel over and I laugh and I'm like, that was so good, Val. You're so good at this game. <laughs> um, but like the moment, it's not my proudest moment, but the moment I share with literally everyone is there is a comp game against Garamichi and TTP and it was my first comp game ever. And Guramichi comes at me with full health. Like, full health. And I'm <laughs> cowered in the corner by myself, shaking, crying. I was playing for Havoc. And uh, I have, like, 20 health. Like, I should die. And I, I, I killed him. And then there's a clip of it, and I've made so many variations with, like, music going on in the background. Mm -hmm. And he says it crops up for him, like, once every couple of weeks someone sends it to him. So oh. my greatest accomplishment is to, like, fuck up Discurimichi's life a little bit with me kicking his butt. <laughs> that, like, people are constantly <laughs> reminding him that I kicked his butt. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> nice. He's one of my favorite people. But that's my greatest accomplishment. Very cool. Well, um, that is my last question. So you made it through the interview. You did a great job. Um, I, I know that um, we can follow you on Twitch, on TikTok, on Instagram. When do you think you might be ready to stream again? So it's either going to be tomorrow or next week. Perfect. I get my, I get my wisdom teeth pulled on Thursday. Ooh. And it's going to be awful. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to stream tomorrow and get everything up tomorrow so that way I can, like, do a stream where everyone feels really bad for me because I'm about to be in pain for a week. <laughs> um, but if not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till the next day because tomorrow I want to put up, like, a stream where, like, I get a goal for a cost for a blanket because uh -huh. I want to just cuddle up in a blanket all, all week. Um, so we'll, we'll see if I can get that and get my blanket for my, my okay. procedure. Well, the bonus is, is if you're not streaming, you can always play and not be streaming. And you can always watch because we have lots of people to watch. <laughs> so. I'll be watching, I'll be watching <laughs> often. And lurking in slick skills. <laughs> yeah, don't tell him that do that. <laughs> Balpo the lurker. Well, Miss Misery like, said she she's creeping. <laughs> oh, um, you know, I am guilty of it too. There are many people that I creep and, and lurk in their streams before I am brave yeah. enough to say anything. <laughs> and then it gets to a point where you're there so often, you're like, now I can't say anything. <laughs> I know. And yeah. I wonder if there's anyone like that that does that to me where they, like, come into my channel and lurk and, like, they like, want to say hi or, like, they just, like, really want to, like, lurk. And yep. I just don't know. And yep. I've always wondered. Yep. And uh, I like to always tell chat, if you're not there and you, or if, you, if you're there and you don't want to say anything, just, you know, throw up a smiley face. Let me know you're there. Yeah. <laughs> Aw, um, that's cute. 
Split Soul got me to chat with him. He was one that I was very quiet and never, I always watched his streams. He does a lot of different content. Um, his name is Split Soul. Uh, he does a lot of him. different content and he doesn't play Pop 1 very often, but he does. Okay. He's a fabulous flat screen uh, gamer. He's a great streamer. He's very interactive. Ooh. He loves his uh, chat. He absolutely engages in them. And I was just sitting there lurking and I could tell he knew I was there because he was like, he just called me out. If you're sitting there lurking, don't be afraid to say hi. Just say hi. I can ignore it if you want me to. And like instantly I was like, okay, it's safe. Hi. Oh, that's <laughs> so, true. I should do that. Yeah. I'll do so, it and I'll let you know if anyone, anyone fesses up. Absolutely. And then follow uh, Split Soul Gaming um, and let him know I said you should go in there and lurk. <laughs> I'm much. I haven't followed you yet. Hold on one second. Let me follow you before this. Don't okay. say that to me right here when we're actually. I, I, I'm sorry. I want to stop. And I've been meaning to. And I was going to do it in the beginning, but then I realized it's still running. Okay, I followed you. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you, Balpo, for your time. Thank you for the interview. Um, you thank did great. You. Yep. And then uh, we'll let everybody know where they can still watch this if they missed uh, uh, the viewing today because it'll be on my Facebook page and uh, since I'm live on Twitch it'll also be saved there for everyone as well so um, we will see you later bye Balpo bye thanks for joining the tipsy tricksy takes over I appreciate you guys all being here I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the information that shot out today on the new headset on the new mode that's coming I just finished up the interview with Balpo um, we've got some great ones lined up as I said that I started asking um, a couple of folks that I haven't gotten in here yet um, if they'd like to join me and uh, I'm awaiting some answers so Thursday the 13th uh, a couple days from now I've got Sin City lined up uh, so given that everything all goes well we will uh, see you guys back here on Thursday and uh, I'll catch you guys all on the flip side have a great evening